Hi everyone, welcome back to another Triptych Transformation. Today's video is about the Sphinctic Thai Behind Open Back Dress that I refashioned from my sister old dress. Here's the original dress before the transformation. It's quite a bit to me and not my style, but I like the color and the material of this dress. The first step is cutting off two hands of the dress and also two sides of the shoulder to the neck area. After that, I'm cutting two sides of the dress under the armpit to the end of the dress. The front of the original dress will be the back of my new dress and the back of the original dress will be the front of my new dress. I'm making the front part for my new dress first. I check the maximum length of the dress I can get and it's 73 centimeters, which is the width from upper the breast to upper my new I'm checking the width of the original dress and it's 56 centimeters, which is a half of the hip side. At the meeting of the straight line and the horizontal line, I go out on the horizontal line 10 cm and mark there. Then connecting this mark to two ends of the top line. I also connect this mark to two ends of the dress too. And it the part of the front dress. Make sure the width of the top line has to be the width between two breasts plus two centimeters. The width of the horizontal line has to be a half of the bust side plus four centimeters. And the width at the middle of the horizontal line and the end of the dress have to be a half of the hip side plus eight centimeters. Then cutting by the drawing lines. Moving to the back part of the dress, I remove the button and unsew the seam at the button area. Then connecting two sides of the button area together. From the seam line, I go to two sides 23 cm. So the width between two ends will be a half of the hip side plus 10 cm. It's the same with the front part I just made. Then drawing two straight lines from two sides.
from two sides of the top line and mark at 5 cm inside. Then connecting this mark to the end of the dress at two sides and in the part of the back of my new dress. After cutting, I overlock my parlors by using the zigzag stitching on my sewing machine. At two sides of the front dress, I'm making space for the breast by drawing two triangles facing each other with 1cm high and 7cm length. If you have a big breast, make the high and the length of the triangle bigger. Folding two triangles together, then sewing. After that, I fold two sides of the front dress inside to hide the cutting and sewing. I make two long fabric with 9cm width and around 70cm length from the leftover fabric to create a tie for the dress. Folding two sides of the length together, then sewing. Remember to sew one end of the tie too. After that, I fold the top of the front inside with the tie, then sew in. By doing this way, you can keep the tie connected strongly to the top of the front. Next step, I'm cutting a small rectangle with 3cm width and 14cm length. I fold two sides of the length together, then sewing foot. After upsiding and ironing it, I cut it in half to have two small pieces. They will be the way loop of the dress. At the top of the back, I mark at 10 cm inside. Then I connect the bell loop to this mark.
make sure the waist between two belts will be the waist between two press, then sewing. I measure the width of the top fabric to fold in to make sure I will have enough space for the elastic band to grow through later. And it's 2.5 cm. So I'm drawing a horizontal line at 5 cm under the top line. Then folding the top fabric to that line and sewing. I use two safety pins to put the elastic pin through the fabric hole. Then I sew two ends of the elastic pin after that. Now, I'm sewing one end of the bell loop to under the elastic band. And I finished this DIY, here's my final transformation. This dress has so much vintage vibes in it, and I just love how it turns out. You can control the length of the ties easily to fit your body. I hope you like this idea and try it out. Subscribe to my channel to check my other DIYs. See you next week!